So here we go. We're going to jump straight into this interloper run. Uh, for anybody who is an experienced long dark player, this will probably not be the series for you. Unless you're just here to watch me suffer, uh, which some people might be into. And if that's you, then jump straight in with me. Um, I'm going to be playing interloper for only the second time. So my first attempt at interloper, I talked about a bit in the prologue to this series. I lasted 17 days, I died in a blizzard in Forlorn Muskeg, and also I think I got attacked by a wolf. I think the cold is what finally killed me, because I did bandage up the blood loss and treat the infection. But I got stuck in Forlorn Muskeg in a blizzard. Uh, it was so cold that even wrapped up tightly in my sleeping bag, I still ended up dying, because I had already used all my coal for the forge. <laughs> Uh, crafting some arrowheads so I couldn't even light a fire um, and I, I think I didn't play it perfectly but that's part of the reason why I'm wanting to do this run um, so I would like to I'd like to document my interloper um, trials and tribulations and me learning how to survive on this difficulty because I have played about 160 hours of this game and most of it was in Stalker. The vast majority of it was on Stalker difficulty. Stalker is still quite hard, but uh, it's not as unforgiving as Interloper. It's, uh, it's a warmer world. It's a little bit easier to survive outdoors. There is more hostile wildlife like wolves and things. Uh, so it's good for learning how to deal with the hostile wildlife in the game, but there's a lot less resources resources are not as abundant in the world uh you have to manage sorry on interloper there's not that many resources you have to really manage uh, your your matches and things like that you have to be um very aware of how quickly you're going to move around the world because it also gets colder as time goes on for the first 50 days it, the temperature starts to drop quite drastically uh, but that's enough ranting. Let's jump straight into it like I said that we were going to. So we are going to play as the female survivor because I don't like hearing the male survivor grunting all the time in my headset. I'd much rather hear a female survivor grunting in my headset. <laughs> and for feats, just to show how little I have played this game, I only have these three feats activated. Feats are like perks that you um, you can unlock by playing the game. Uh, so I am going to take cold fusion, which will give us a permanent plus two degrees Celsius bonus to air temperature. Uh, this whole run, by the way, is going to be in Celsius. So sorry if you are an American, but I'm not an American. I like Celsius. I like round numbers. Zero should be cold. Zero degrees should be freezing. It's when water freezes. It makes sense. Free runner. Um, I'm going to take this. Sprinting burns fewer calories. I think it's going to be more useful than book smarts, which is just a little boost to uh, research you get from reading books to your skills. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to survive long enough to find books. So we will take these two and we'll keep all of the difficulty regarding uh, scurvy and things like that on. And let's just call it interlooper. Can you do a smiley face? Smiley face. Backward smiley face. Okay. Hopefully we find ourselves in somewhere that I am familiar with and not a completely new, uh, new region. So I have played mostly in Mystery Lake, Milton, uh, Coastal Highway, Desolation Point. Uh, spent a bit of time in Black Rock and Pleasant Valley. Uh, I haven't been to Ash Canyon. I haven't been to the Forsaken Airfield, places like that. Bleak Inlet, I've never been to. So there's still quite a lot of the world for me left to explore, which again, I think is going to be quite exciting because it means that I'm not an expert by any means and you can watch me discover the world at the same time that you do. So we're in Desolation Point. And I do not know Desolation Point quite well enough to figure out exactly where I am right now. It looks like we're on the coast. So let's quickly try and get our bearings. It's also night. Uh, I didn't know you could um, spawn in the night, but there you go. 
Uh, right, so we need to find... Oh, there's a bridge. So are we at the lighthouse? There's a bridge anyway. There's quite a few bridges. Uh, we need to find out how to get up here. So let's get a move on. And hopefully not run into any wildlife. This... And there's a wolf already. That's not good. I think I just instantly die. Let's try and get up somewhere high. I don't know if I can do this. Are we safe here? We are. Okay, he's running. That was really bad. Right, now that we're up here, <laughs> let's try and figure out where we are. I can't believe I almost died instantly. So there's some wolves over there. And I think I need to get up there. So I'm going to have to try and get them to move. I've got a couple of stones. Let's see if that lures them that way. It has a little bit. Okay. I think that's worked. Oh, there's another one there. Okay, let's get move on. Need to get out of here as quickly as possible. Hopefully we can get up here. We can. Okay, navigating wolves with no weapons, no torches was not uh, what I wanted to be doing at the start of this game. But we can hopefully get to safety here. There is a lighthouse that we can find shelter in. Whew. I can't believe that you actually spawn at the beginning of nightfall as well. That's awkward. Okay, let's get over the bridge and hopefully we can warm up in here. I've had no sticks or no firewood to collect because of that little uh, conflict. So I'm going to struggle. Wow, it's so dark. There's the door. It's, it's the long dark, isn't it? It's supposed to be dark. Right. Can't see anything, but we're warm in here at least, so... I can just fumble around in the dark for a while. I will try to figure out where I am based on the windows. So what's this? A book? Let's search these drawers. That's another drawer. <laughs> what's that? Oh, ketchup chips. Got some crisps. Okay, right. So the first couple of minutes of this are going to be very awkward because let's just take stock of what we have. So we do not have much clothing at all. We've got a plaid shirt, some thermal underwear and some jeans and some not great shoes. We have a tin can and we've got some crisps and we've just picked up a book. Right, <laughs> I know there's a bed upstairs. So I might try and make my way up there and see if I can rest in the bed for a bit. Um, okay, I'm going to try and use this little trick to uh, help me find my way up the stairs. Which is I'm going to drop this item and I'm going to use it to get my bearings. See if I can find my way up here based on the pathing. <laughs> okay, we are at a window. I have no light source. We may just have to pass some time here and hope that it brightens up. We are at least warm in here, so. This isn't the worst thing in the world. It's wasted time at the beginning of the game, but I can't do anything in the pitch black. I don't know the game well enough to be able to navigate. There we go. We got some daylight. Oh, we were so close to the bed. Right, let's do some actual exploring. We have a note. I keep hearing my mobile ring. Get excited every time, but it's just as dead as always when I check. I don't know why I still carry it around. 
Sean's been my saviour, especially as after Sue and Tori's suicide. We were even joking about suicide. He told me about how he always wanted to do death as a salesman. His American accent's pretty good too. We fell asleep in each other's arms last night. Sean wouldn't wake up. Very sad. Okay. Uh, what have we got? We've got a skill book. Great. We've got a stim. Uh, I'll probably need that because I'm probably going to die quite a lot. Or be in a position where I uh, am near death. Hopefully we don't die at all. Let's head up here. Spray paint, not best thing in the world. Is there anything behind these? There's a locked locker that we can't unlock because we don't have a pry bar. The main thing that I'm looking for at this point is any clothing to, to just throw on or some matches would be really nice. So what have we got? Scrap metal. It's not amazing. It's not very useful right now. And there's nothing around here. Affliction frostbite risk already. Seriously? I can't feel my hands. Where do we have frostbite? Our oh, hands are uncovered because we don't have any gloves. Right, so there's not a great deal in the lighthouse, but it is a nice safe place to be away from those walls. So let's head back down. Just double check that I haven't missed anything. Whew, what a weird start. Uh, what have we got down here? We've got some oats, nice. Got some firewood, got some cooking oil. Now I just need a way to start a fire. And we can maybe make some porridge or something. Uh, we've got a cabinet, it's empty. Is that everything? Did we check all of these drawers? We did. Did we check these ones? No. Come on, give me something, anything. Nope. Okay. Right. Well, we do need to get a move on because we don't have anything to drink. And I need to find a way to get some water. And there's no point staying here, is there? So maybe we should warm up a little bit first. Let's have a rest. Because it is freezing cold at the start. I think the morning is the coldest point of the day. So what I tend to do, I think what a lot of people try to do, is you stay awake for most of the night. In the top right is the little sort of uh, meter of what time of day it is. So stay awake for quite a bit of the night and then sleep through the morning because it is so cold in the morning. And I'll just have a quick look around, check that we're not missing anything obvious. And then I am going to head over here and I might take a little shortcut and just jump straight down. Mosey. Quick look around, make sure there's no bears, predators, wolves or anything like that. Cool. I think that's deer over there. Don't have any way to kill any deer yet. So if you look in the bottom left, um, I'm going to be treating this, by the way, like people have never played the game before. So I'll be describing some really basic things. So don't get too offended if I'm stating the obvious. Uh, if you look in the bottom left, we've got four uh, radial bars, or little circles. Did I say? I... We have the temperature gauge, which is the little uh, thermometer. Then we have the eyeball, which is our energy. Uh, the water droplet is obviously our hydration and then the little, I think it's supposed to be a stomach, is our hunger meter. 
So right now we're dehydrated, and because we're dehydrated, the long bar below it is going to start dropping gradually. That is our health bar. I thought that was an actual shelf. Uh, so that's that's how you lose health in this game without being attacked by animals. You um, first aid kit. When the bars are red, they will slowly start to deplete your health. So you have to keep on top of your hydration, your hunger. Uh, freezing to death is the worst. I think that drops quicker than anything else. And uh, when your energy drops to red, then you will be losing your carry weight, so it'll be harder to carry things around. You will also lose this in the bottom right, which is your sprint gauge. That will start to drop quite uh, drastically. Uh, it's really, really dark in here. There is a way to get up the stairs, but I can't find it in the dark. I could really do with a storm lantern. Uh, right, I think we'll come back to the Rickon. come back here once I've got some light. Can we actually get uh, onto the, the top? Can we get onto the dock of the ship? Yeah? No? Damn. Oops, I've gone back inside. My bad. If there's a way to get in from the top, then uh, we'll try that. I don't think there is though. Or if there is, you have to kind of glitch your way up. Let's try here. No. Nope. Okay, next stop. We're going to head over to here. And we're going to pray that we find some matches because we are freezing. We need matches or we need a magnifying glass uh, which you can get to start fires outdoors. But I also don't have any firewood yet because there just hasn't been much to grab. So it's this bag. There's some firewood. Let's hope there's no bear around. Can I get up here? Hibernia processing plant. Okay, let's do a little bit of sneaking. Because I don't want to get jumped by anything. And I will pop in here for a second. See what's in here to grab, to loot. Anything in this crate? Nope. Whetstone, okay. It'll be useful if we survive long enough to find some tools. Let's head over to the main building. Oop, that's scary. This is good, you freezing. And we'll go in this way.
There's got to be some loot in here. Just something to get us going. Some peaches, right. I think they give you a little bit of hydration when you eat them. Uh, so, at the worst, we can stave off our dehydration. But ideally... Nice. Matches. There we go. Right. We are rolling first lot of matches. We're going to be very careful with them though because I don't know when I'm next going to find some and we only have 12 and these are the skills okay for the game so you've got carcass harvesting cooking they're all fairly self-explanatory uh, fire starting now our fire starting is awful at the moment and that means that we're going to start wasting a lot of matches if we just try to use the matches to light the fire straight away. So what we'll do is, I will try and craft a torch, because you can, you always have a 100% chance to light a torch uh, with a match. So what you can do is you can light the torch with the match, and then you can light a fire with the torch, and as long as the torch doesn't run out, if you fail, you can just keep using the torch over and over again. So I don't know if I'll be able to craft a torch. I can't remember what you need. I think you need lantern fuel, uh, some sticks, and some cloth. I'll find it later. It might be the case that we have to do our first fire. Anything useful here? It might be the case that we have to do our first fire uh, the old-fashioned way. Okay, some decent stuff. Or we could use the flare, which I probably will do. That's, m that's very useful. Got a note, but I forgot to read it. Let's have a look at the note. A flat sand or river stone, three inches in width, at least six inches long, is ideal for sharpening your blade. Oh, okay. It's just some tips on how to keep your tools tooling. Here's some more firewood. Cool. Firewood. Let's have a little sneak through here, see if there's anything in this pipe. I think that's just a little visual glitch, that's nothing, is it? No. Do not want to lug a car battery around. Nothing else is jumping out at me. Right, so decision time. Do we head back out? Do these give a bit of water? No? That's mistaken. Right, in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back over to this fire bin that we spotted earlier. And 
I only have one bit of tinder. Hmm. It's an 80% chance. I think we have to take it. Oh, I could use the accelerant. You know what? Yeah, let's just throw the accelerant on. I don't want to waste matches. There we go. Right, let's get some water going. So you need fire to boil. Basically, you're melting snow and you're making it drinkable. Uh, you're boiling all the bad the bad out of it. <laughs> uh, so we'll stick some water on and I'll get these pinch peaches going as well. They'll warm us up. There we go. You can see that this fire barrel is starting to warm us up quite nicely. Is there anything that we can be doing while we wait for that? Probably not. Can't break these down break you down. Really need to get some tools. Oh, a safe. I don't want my peaches to burn, so I'm just going to try and get the numbers for this. That was around here, wasn't it? Say 44. 3 minutes. Oh, they do give you hydration. It's just not on the uh on the bar. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Uh, I've got a while on that. Let's go back to the safe. That'll stop our uh, health going down anyway. Okay, so 43, 44, should we say? And then back the other way. I'm just going to force this. Uh, 56. So... I'm so impatient. Fifty six. <gasps> Did it. Nice. Give me something good. Anything. Accelerant. Okay, close. Uh not the worst. Certainly not the best, but not the worst. We got some more accelerant as well. Um I'm not the type of player to just hang on to things like accelerant for no reason. I will use it straight away uh, because I, I feel like people hang on to it for so long and just never use it. And all it does is it gives you a, a guaranteed chance to light a fire. So it's better to just use it when, in my opinion anyway, it's better to use the accelerant when your fire starting is low rather than hoard it all until you have like level five fire starting and then you just never need it so I'm just going to be using it as and when it comes up there we go let's get some water in us and then let's get some more water on and we're going to grab a torch that's a terrible torch and grab a torch that's not much better Let's have a little nosy around and see if we missed anything, because I guarantee you we did. Uh, it's quite bright today in my uh, in my home, and I know that this is a very dark game, <laughs> so I probably missed something in the darkness. Let's have a quick look around again. check the lockers so while we're waiting for that water let's have a think about what our goals are going to be in this early game I'm going to need to start collecting things to craft a bow uh, we're going to have to start trying to find some warmer clothes realize you could get onto this walkway. Is there anything up here? Some wood. Uh, is this safe to walk on? Huh. Hey fella. Got anything for me? Nice. Got a woolly hat. Put 
got that on straight away. Two degrees extra warmth. That's really useful. Okay. I didn't know about that area. I've been here before in Stalker and I must have just missed it. Uh, okay. Making some gradual progress. Pry bar! Amazing! How's this looking? Torch. Right, there was some uh, there's some lockers, right? And now I have a pry bar that I can unlock them with. So let's head back there quickly. It's so good. I didn't expect to find any tools to the way. Nothing in there. Sorry if you can hear me drinking tea, by the way. Maybe I'll try and cut it out before I upload any video, because I know that that can be annoying in people's ears. Uh, was there anything else? This water's done. Let's get some more water on here. How long have we got? Hour and a half. Another whetstone. Cool. So the whetstone is used for sharpening if you have a hunting knife or... A uh, hatchet you can sharpen it, give it some extra condition so it doesn't uh, break. Really useful. Maintaining your tools is very important. So if I can't find anything else, I think I'm going to head back to our fire and I'm going to take a bunch of torches. There's not anything over here. And then we're going to head out and loot elsewhere because we do need to get a move on quite quickly in in Interloper. Also, I've read, as I've said, I've not really played any Interloper. So, uh, that. how long have we got here? I'm going to take a lot of torches. Harvest our rune torches. So we'll go outside, we'll investigate the, uh, the trailers around Hibernia, which is where we are at the moment. And then I'll probably head back to the Rickon, which is the abandoned ship that we saw. We'll have a little look in there. And then amazingly, we have spawned in an area with a forge because there is a forge in the Rickon. Okay, take that. Let's not forget our tin. We need that to make more water. Uh, let's see what we've got to eat. I'm going to go for well fed straight away as well, if we can help. If we can help it, try and find some cattails and things to keep us going. So, if you manage to keep your hunger bar from going red for several days, then you can get a little bonus to your carry weight called well fed which is going to be quite useful early on. So we'll go for that. We'll try and uh, stay well fed. Okay, let's head out. Hopefully there's no predators around. I know that a bear can roam around here because I've been chased by the bear before. So I will probably shriek and uh, run away like a little baby if I run into a bear. Okay, 
let's see. I'm sure that I've missed quite a lot when I was rummaging around in the darkness. Old bed roll. Could do with a new bed roll so that we can sleep. In fact, that's something to remember where the beds are, where we've spotted beds. So, can we sleep in here? We can. We can sleep in here, we can sleep in the processing plant, we can sleep in the lighthouse. Uh, I don't know if there's a bed in the Rickon, there probably is. This is where I was once chased by a bear. Okay, let's drop our torch. And let's take this torch and light it from the depleted torch. Okay, there's another bed in here. We've got plenty of places to sleep at least. one what's that anything another message I used to go here to get out of town before the quakes it was some peace anyway so is that a memento hint? It is. So this is our map. We haven't mapped anything yet, so don't really know where we are. I really like the map in the Long Dark because it is literally just a map and it doesn't tell you where you are on the map. So you have to actually use your own knowledge of the landscape to know where you are on the map. It's like a real map. There's no little uh, pointer that appears. Okay, I can hear a wolf, but it sounds like it's hunting something. about to lose our torch again. And I can hear something. I don't know if that was a bear. It could have been a bear. Is that a bear? I think it is. And I can't see it. I can only hear it. Whoa! <laughs> okay, there's the bear. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh my god. Right, I'm gonna wait here a second. That shit me up so bad. I don't really need these fuses, but... Whew! I have no way to fight a bear. I have no way to scare a bear away. I don't have any marine flares or anything. He's still out there. He's still out there. Do I do a runner? I can hear him. But I don't want to lose my torch. So, let's bail. Okay, he's not chasing us. Whew! Let's just get an idea of where he went. I think he's back over the bridge. I'm not going to stick around and find out. <laughs> okay, we'll head back to the Rickon then. Let's do a quick look around. See if there's anything over here. Doesn't look like it. Uh, new torch. And 
let's head back now with some torches so that we can see what's going on in here. So it looks like there's not a lot of uh, plant life here in Desolation Point and one of the main ways that I survive early on is by looting cattails which are little plants that grow by the water that you can eat uh, but we won't be able to do that here it seems so we're gonna have to think of a new way there's a sapling over there I should probably get that soon we're gonna have to think of a different way to get food which will be either hunting rabbits or s luring a wolf towards a deer and then scaring it off so that we can steal the deer meat Okay, right, I can actually see now. So this is the forge. We'll come back for you when we've got some items. Uh, so I might leave this coal here. That's a bandage. What was in here? Did we miss anything? look like it let's head up hope for some goodies uh, fishing book flask cool Anything up here on the uh, the main deck? There is a memento cache back at Hibernia. Let's take that key then. Probably go and look for that now before we move out elsewhere. Another pry bar, so we have two pry bars. Not complaining about that. Okay. Oh, look at you. Poor guy. Right, okay, that looks like it here. So, I'm gonna go over here, grab this sapling because we'll need it to craft a bow. Oh wait, I have no hacksaw. I can't get it. Ah, oh, okay. Let's just have a quick nosy around then while we're here. That was silly. That's because I've been playing uh, on my save with all my tools. I just immediately assumed that I had a hacksaw, but I don't. Oh, it's a rabbit. Oh, it's two rabbits. Okay, we'll grab these. So I'm just really quickly... Insufficient materials to start a fire. Right, I need some tinder. We need to go on tinder. Five minutes. Let's not lose our fire before we get to start a fire. Okay. My fingers feel numb. So I'm going to start a fire just to get my uh, fire starting skill up a little bit and also so that we don't lose our flame uh, while I'm hunting these rabbits. 
so how long has this got on it? 42 minutes, that's fine, that's plenty. Okay, where did they go? Where are the bunnies? That's one. I'm getting tired. Great shot, Dale. We go again. Good shot. There was another rabbit, wasn't there? Can we go around here. to tell. Ah. <laughs> nice. Uh, if we are warm enough, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll cook these here. Warm by our fire? Not yet, but it might be once we heat it up. It is. Okay. Uh, let's get some more water on the go, just briefly, and then let's start harvesting. Anything we can be doing for five minutes? Not really. There we go. Uh, let's get some more water on. Hour and ten. Stick this stick on. Let's have a quick look around, see if we can find any other sticks. There's something to throw on this fire. Nothing? Can you beach comb here? Is there anything? Looks like there's something over there. Looks like some wood. Nice. Whoop. Some cloth, some painkillers. So beach combing, when you're at the coast like this, uh, some, sometimes things can wash up on the shore. Uh, it's completely random what can uh, pop up. Sort of picks from a pool of random things. Uh, and it resets whenever there is a blizzard, so it's nice to check every now and then. We've got some cloth, which is going to be really useful. 25 minutes, our water is done. Uh, can we harvest this? A little bit of meat. Might as well throw that on, it's better than nothing. Forty minutes for the guts because I don't have anything to cut them with. That's not going to be ideal. So 
I'm going to leave the rabbits here for now just because I don't want to attract the the wolves or the bear that's lurking around and I'm going to head back to Hibernia try and find that memento cache 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 okay okay so we can't sprint so I'm not going to risk going near the uh, near the coast again So we'll head back to Hibernia, try and get that little bit of treasure, treasure, and then we will sleep there for the night, and then I might just leave Desolation Point and head somewhere else, head to maybe Coastal Highway and see if I can loot some stuff there, and we'll stop off at any landmarks we see along the way, but we can't stay here too long. Uh, we've lifted pretty much everything that we're going to find. There's not a lot of natural resources for us to eat. No cattails, things like that. Rabbits seem fairly rare in this location by the, by the coast as well. So I don't think it's going to be worth sticking around here for very long. I will come back eventually to the forge. So I'll probably go coastal highway. Uh loot that place, get enough stuff together, cure some uh, saplings and things if we find a hacksaw, cure some guts and then come back and craft uh, bow and arrowheads and then once we've got those we will hopefully be in a stronger position to start hunting things. Then we might go after a bear, we might go find a moose, we'll find something. So I'm going to head back up the way I came, just because I am familiar with it. Ah, oh, I lost my fire. Well, I'm probably going to let it run out anyway when we uh, when we go to sleep, so it's not too big of a deal. As long as we don't run into any wolves or the bear. But the torch wouldn't save us against the bear, so... Okay, where is this memento cache? It was around here somewhere. Right? That's the metal container. So I feel like it's here. Ah. What have we got? A marine flare. Three marine flares. Awesome. Suddenly that beard doesn't seem quite so scary. So marine flares will temporarily scare off a bear. I can't feel my feet. Uh, we've been in there. Nothing in here. Okay, we'll head inside then. Get some rest. Make a plan. dark. It's so dark. Where's the bed? Am I 
not able to find the bed. Really don't want to w waste a match. <laughs> Where is the bed? Okay, let's go to the uh, the trailers to find the bed. Because I, I think they're like right by the door, aren't they? Yeah, much better. Okay. Uh, let's have... Let's eat this before we go to bed in case we get food poisoning. We did not. That's good. Uh, what are we on for calories? So we've got 500 calories on us at the moment. We can't eat the oats or the cooking oil. We need a cooking pot to make porridge with the oats and water, but we don't have a cooking pot yet. So that is not very helpful for us. Uh, is there anything we can be doing? Let's harvest these. I think we're too tired to read a book, aren't we? We are. have a little think before we go to bed if there is anything we can be doing I might make some bandages with our cloth because better safe than sorry uh, I don't have anything for infection yet I need to get some more beard lichen let's just go to sleep our first day in interloper survived amazing 